Oh, you pushed yours back. Yeah, I pushed mine back a little bit. Oh, that's yeah. very, that's very cool. Hello, and welcome to this week's top five. It's the week of what, June 1st? First. 2017. I'm Christina Reese. I'm Andy Don Emmons. And where are we? Well, we're south of Dallas, about 100 miles south of Dallas in a Freestone County. What is this ranch? This is the L&D Ranch, family ranch, fifth generation. Fifth generation. We're near Fair... Fairfield. Fair. Field. We're east of Fairfield and west of Palestine. I'm here with Brush Muscle, the collective of three. It's Michael Wynn, Terry Hogan, and Don Emmons. So thank you for being here with us today. Thank you. It's fun time. It's yeah. not too hot. We're shooting some guns. Yeah, we're shooting stuff. We're working on a, we're starting to work on a new project with Brush Muscle. So we brought some old used, semi-used cans of paint and shot them up. We killed them. <laughs> yeah. We we're going to eat them later. Christina's a good shot. Watch out. She's pretty good. Oh, God oh. damn. <laughs> yeah. Don't get sprayed. I don't, don't want to get sprayed. <laughs> Boom. Our number five this week is, um, it's Andre Serrano. He's, he's, it's going to be a series of photographs, the torture photographs mm. at the Station Museum down in Houston. Yeah. Have you seen these? I haven't seen them, but I know the Harathuses down there have that station. They put some pretty crazy shows on. It's real political at this point. They've been very, like, responsibly political for a while. I, yeah. What I do know about this series is that Serrano, he photographed these volunteers, but he put them through the ringer. Apparently, what you see that looks like torture and pain and suffering is real. So I assume so he must So it's not have... makeup. No. <laughs> I guess not. That's wild. So they, if they're volunteering, they're probably masochists, but um, it made for some pretty powerful photographs and that opens this weekend uh, number four is chris solder at blue star in san antonio san antonio texas so yeah. you know great sculptor he was he did the residency the exchange residency blue stars in berlin i think this is the work that he made while he was there that's awesome paper speakers yeah i think it's going to be paper this should be beautiful i mean yeah. his work is always beautiful beautifully made um, and I believe that that opens this weekend as Blue well. Star. So number three this week is at Louise Hopkins Underwood Center for the Arts in Lubbock, Texas. This is a big summer group show. It's called Ice Cream, fittingly. It's all about ice cream, right? I don't think so. But or ice cream inspired, maybe? Or? I don't know. Is it? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's just these people's work. I don't know. We know a lot of these people. I know Bruce Webb's work, it's a, it's an ice cream head. It's a head with ice cream flavors all through it. Oh. So, I don't know. So, that's very... But should be good. B.C. Gilbert, Cody Arnell, yeah. Yeah. Hannah Dean. Big show. Uh, a lot of people. Scotty Hensler. Uh, There's a lot of people. about 25 people. Uh, both cannings. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be a big turnout. I think that this is... I don't know if this is a... It's not a first Friday. You no, know, it's a first Friday. Oh, they have first Fridays yeah, up there? Yeah, yeah. So, it's a first Friday art walk. Should be crowded. I need to get out to love it. You get the flat Go with me there. in July. Oh, that'd be fun. What's I'm going to go there? for a Hill Snyder thing. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, he's going to be up there. Oh, wow. You can sleep in his I caravan. Have, I haven't seen hills in a long time. Oh, yeah. So number two this week is in Marfa. Um, this is a little bit of a plug for me as well, but it's uh, Jorge Mendez Blake. He's a Guadalajaran artist who, he's great. He was trained in architecture. He's very obsessed with books and literature. All this makes it into his work. Um, he was making this show as Trump was being elected, as the wall was being talked about. I believe it's going to be a really good overview of the kind of work that he does. A lot of sculpture that will reference literature and architecture and politics and the possible building of a wall. Mm. Uh, it's at Marfa Contemporary. It opens this weekend of Marfa, and I'm going to be in conversation with him on Saturday at 11 a.m. No oh, wow. In Marfa. So if you're out there, please come see us and hear what he has to say about this work. It's really, really interesting stuff. Right. So number one this week is at the Fort Worth Modern. It is Doug Aitken. Do you remember a show that Suzanne Weaver brought to the DMA called Diamond Seas? Mm. And it was the de it was the De Beers Desert mm. in yeah, okay. West Africa. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the abandoned houses. Yeah, 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 yeah That's yeah, Doug yeah. Aitken. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that show. This is a big retrospective of his work, and it, I saw it. I haven't seen the, the Fort Worth iteration of it. I saw it at uh, LA Mocha. I think his videos are fantastic. I'm well, not as into his sculpture, yeah. which is the real saleable stuff, yeah. although his video is too. But, I mean, this guy's made some iconic art videos over the last 20 years. Uh, Diamond Seas is still one of my very favorites. Spend some Block time. out yeah. some time because it takes a while to get through some of these videos and it's absolutely worth it. One of the reasons it's nice to have you on this video is <laughs> your work is the it's you I, the first artwork I ever bought. Really? Was yours. 
<laughs> through Vance Wingate at Gray Matters. It was a it was ink and a marker on poster board. Uh -huh. It was uh -huh. awesome. it's awesome. I still have it, of uh -huh. course. And then the most recent piece of art I bought was also yours. Oh yeah. So there's a little bookend story going on. There here. you go. Yeah. yeah. That show at Gray Matters must have been. Oh. 98, 97. Yeah. I need to get that piece framed because it's just been. That's the one about the high school high school ag class. Yes. And they're all posing with tools. Yes. With all the girls talking about it's them. Super detailed. That's a good one. Very, very elaborate. Yeah, and very actually, cool. I'll take a picture of it and send it to you. It's actually, I don't think I have a picture of that. Oh. But, uh, but that's actually, uh, I actually cured myself from my OCD doing that series. I could see that. <laughs>